What's up, my boys? We're bringing the What's up, my boys back and it feels good. So how do we make this video without mentioning all the obvious things, you know? The weather is epic here. The nature is epic. The air is fresh. The bolo de caco is epic. The beer is epic. Mm. Guys, it's no alcohol. Proof, Amelie, what the I'm not drinking again, I promise. It's a prank, bro. But let's get right into it and jump to the number one reason we're still here on Madeira and we love it. Generally speaking, this island is just a very, very exciting place to be. Like, it's so cool living here. There's so much to do. Yeah. And it's like changing all the time. One of the things that we were quite unsure about was like, can we live here long term? Is this a, a, a pipe dream to actually think that Madeira is sustainable long term? And a lot of you guys said that, uh, see you back in Lisbon in six months. But even I was like telling friends, don't worry, we'll be back in Lisbon in a year when Jon is done with nature, then we come back. And I ended up falling in love with this so much. Yeah. I would never go back. Well, uh, never say never, but I don't think I would go back. No. So long story short is that Madeira is not boring. No. There's a restaurant we have to go to now and it's called Bolo do Caco Grill and Pizza. It can only be good. Hola. Hola. To the bar. I recognize your face. Really? Have you guys been here before? No. no. This is our first time. I can just say already, I need a pizza do caco. Based on the name of this restaurant, it has to be the best on the menu. <laughs> well, the most popular is a sweet chili chicken. It okay. sounds so good. I've been craving a burger since Christmas and I okay. haven't had one. So is I'm it like... the best burger on the island? According to my reviews, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can it fit in your mouth? Oh my God. They make their own chili mayo and it's so delicious. This video is sponsored by me and Amelia because we have a guide. If you're coming to Madeira, if you want to get all the best things to do, best place to stay, best things to eat, hidden gems like this, go get our guide down below and use our code Madeira for 30% off. It's actually an app you download. So when you walk around, wherever you are, you can see what is nearby. People love it because we poured our heart into it. Just like the chef did with this pizza. That's not yours. That's not yours. Mm. <laughs> it's going in the guide. Yeah, Guys, this was in. amazing. What is super cool about Madeira is that even though it's a fairly small island, it feels big. It never feels like you've seen it all because the infrastructure, there are so many small narrow roads, the old roads. And you know, this we haven't been on this uh, road before. Wow. And this means that it's always exciting to, to travel around the island, even after three years here. It's fascinating who built these roads. I'd love to see the statistics on accidents. Imagine this on this. Big buses would drive on those roads and it would be two-way street, even though it, it would only fit one. I kind of want to go up there, Amelia. We can go. Let's see what's up here. Ah, okay. Dead end, guys. Amelia, what's next on the menu? I actually don't know, but I just remember this was one of our first destinations on a professional island exploration. With Jeff? Like every time we stop at a new place, we are like, okay, this could be Switzerland, or this could be Vietnam, or this could be Australia. But in reality, it's just Madeira. This sign here is new. I have no idea why they put I'm it like, up. I'm like, why do you want to have a photo taken with the sign when you can have a photo taken with the view that it's, is here? I know what is next on the menu. And um, this one is quite interesting. We live in a world that seems increasingly crazy. We don't really watch the news uh, very often, but uh, you can't get around that. There is a lot of fear, a lot of worry and uncertainty. And, you know, the CDC, which is the center of disease control in the US, they literally released a guide how to uh, deal with a zombie attack, which is quite interesting. <laughs> Point of the matter is, Madeira is a place where we feel safe. We have endless water from Levadas. <gasps> we have avocados hanging on the trees. Are you scared of a poodle alupso? Anna? And a poodle lipso. I mean, we're obviously not afraid if a zombie apocalypse is gonna hit us, but the point is that if something terrible happens and there are no more food and water and whatever, we live on an island that can supply the whole island, you know? Really? Yeah, I mean, we have like, endless okay. amount of water and we have bananas. But do we potassium. have enough bananas for every day for 250,000 people? Ready? Yeah. 
<laughs> Afterwards, you get a photo of, of, of this view. Yeah. <laughs> Can you open it? Yes, yes! We're going on a detour for Epic Sunset Mission! <coughs> oh my god, this feels so good. Grounding is so underrated. We are a battery and our feet okay, stop. are charged by... What were you saying? I can't talk about grounding. Don't get too hippy-dippy on it, you know. Look who's talking. <laughs> you look like a shaman apprentice, but I look... But honestly, can I say something? No. Nein, 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 figure you only mean fiendish go. Satan's us foot Ooh. grounding, man. When I was a child, I used to love being barefooted in the grass in our garden. And then you get older and you think it's silly, but in reality, it is really comfortable. It's like it's tingling your feet. I love grounding. Is this one of the points on the list? It could be. Oh, that's actually one of the reasons. There are so many reasons why we love uh, living here in Madeira. What is the next one on our list? We have a lot. Sense of community. That is true. Actually, some of our very best friends, they live here on the island. Yeah. And we have only known them for two, three years. But they are amazing people. And, and they are very like-minded, which I like. All the way up through my 20s, I gave up on the idea of getting new friends that could be really close. That is true. Um, but then, uh, mainly due to our YouTube channel and pe people reaching out to us, uh, we, we uh, have just gotten uh, amazing friends. And the people who moved to Madeira, and of course many locals too, but uh, people move to Madeira because they see Madeira for what it is. They appreciate it for what it is. So you just have a lot of like-minded people yeah. here that appreciate nature, that appreciate you know calm lifestyle all the good things in life but um yeah community is is yeah. is, is, is uh, so important and i realized that that's why we are going to build our own village here in madeira yeah uh, spoiler actually, alert more on that later that's very early on <laughs> what's next on the list i think it's personal growth thing. are you talking about weight yes <laughs> for me yeah no but i think personal growth is just something that happens over life but I think Madeira is one of those places that doesn't have a lot of distractions, you know? It allows you to really grow and get older in a healthy, good way. It just makes it easier to focus on yourself because there are not 200 different bars that you can go to every weekend and you know. It does sound a little bit boring and it old <laughs> when, when two people in their early 30s, uh, I'm 35, that's still early, talk about uh, personal growth, but you know, we just made a video about my problems with alcohol and for us, it's great here in Madeira, you know. Uh, Lisbon, for example, we love Lisbon, but it, th what I've realized with big cities is that there's no point to a big city if you don't really take advantage of it. And what do you do in a big city? You go drink and eat. I actually love a big city. I really love when we go to Paris and New York and Lisbon and even Copenhagen. I really love it. But on an everyday basis, I just see it more as a distraction from all the other things I want to focus on. You know, it was quite interesting to also read all your comments on our last video in terms of alcohol. Like there was a shocking consensus that alcohol is not sexy, uh, that being healthy is is sexy and but I, also the fact that a lot of people actually were fed up with your own drinking yeah. i don't blame them for but that. but i mean this i will say that madeira is very dangerous when it comes to the trap of getting into drinking i mean when we moved here in in uh, january 2021 it was just oh i'm on a permanent vacation like literally every single day it was True. just food Let's new restaurants. It's always sunny. It's always nice weather. So it's like nice weather, sunset, wine, you know. This looks unreal, guys. 
and it's free. I know we were not supposed to mention obvious things, but did we mention our new house? Which is one of the main reasons I love this island because we're about to move into our dream villa. When you talk about island living and, and island fever, as everyone talks about, what we have learned is that when you live on an island, you need projects. You need to have yeah. a purpose where you have something you wake up for. There are and, no escapes, you yeah. know. I think a lot of people, especially expats, foreigners who, who come to, to Madeira and they see how epic it is here they dream of they romanticize i did also you sit on the balcony with wine and you watch the view you enjoy the evening uh, warmth and then you think life is is perfect but yeah. it gets old fast and Cause, and because you come here you come here with this idea that you're going to go to a vacation island and therefore you're going to live a vacation lifestyle but you also have to live normally right yeah, so. but but i actually came to love madeira for good when i started living normally here do you want to go back to town do you think we can make it before sunset Both fit here. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna break. It's gonna break. It's not uh, gonna break. Nay! Nay! Yawn! Min Ungling's cool! You broke it! This is fast fashion at its worst. I'm sorry. Staycation. When you live on an island that is a vacation island, you have endless opportunities, really. Not endless, but you well, have a lot. Almost endless. And we have some favorite spots that we go to. The best place in the world is called Canto das Fandes. It's literally paradise on earth. Yeah. And it is 25 minutes away from our address here. Yeah. It's incredible. We've been there like seven times and <laughs> it's uh, it's actual paradise. Yeah. And, and having that so close is, is quite amazing mm. when you need to get away from the hustle and bustle of this big city. Um, <laughs> no, but it's just like, there is this vibe that just invites you to take staycations, you know? Yeah. And you don't have to book a flight ticket to do it. You can just take your car and I like that. You know, we have Sino's Palace. We haven't been there. Yeah, we and the, the place on the north, what is that called? Uh, it's a wine hotel. Uh, oh, ironically enough. Ironically enough. There, there are so many new cool places popping up um, as a result of Madeira being more and more popular. And for us, that's a positive yeah. thing. And we also have our tent, Amelia. Yeah, well, we haven't really done a lot of the camping, but it's also because we're risking a fine every time we do it, because we don't want to do camping at those designated de spots because they're literally just like parking lots yeah parking lots with a toilet and a barbecue and i don't really want to do camping like that it's about connecting with nature you yeah know? Um, we refuse to follow the rules when it comes to camping in nature it, 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 it should be allowed everyone should be allowed yeah. to go to nature for free and enjoy there is the next point don't say it out loud until you film later do you want to go on the scooter do you want to go on the scooter? Okay, let's go on the scooter. For Lara, being on the scooter is <laughs> life. The scooter? She loves that so much. And especially when we're going to the beach. When I gave Amelia this scooter in a surprise birthday gift. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, then that mega fell Is it? Correct that it's the best gift you've ever gotten. Yes. Yes. This scooter here just makes life so much more fun. And I can't imagine a better place to have a scooter than Madeira Island. This is my favorite thing. You have to cover the, the microphone, Amelia. Otherwise it's too windy. It's always windy on the scooter, it's okay. This is especially freedom for Jon because he never follows the rules when we are on the scooter. Ever. I think it's time that we do another scooter uh, trip around yeah. Madeira. Scooter exploration. It's been too long. I agree. We forgot the tripod. Amelie, we're at the last point. Yes, and this is the vibe of Madeira. The vibe of Madeira is like special, you know. You feel like everyone is on a vacation. We have a lot of tourists here. And when you are surrounded by tourists, you are essentially surrounded by people in their most joyful moments, you know. And it, it gives this energy to the island that I just love. Mm. Thank you so much. Did we mention that we have a guide on sale? Madeira, 30% off. <laughs> it's funny when you talk about tourists. Tourists are usually always a bad thing. And in some ways it is, you know, because it affects the local culture and sometimes in a negative way. But for us here, we never feel that tourism is taking over hand. But it's not just the tourism that's making the vibe of Madeira great. 
there is just such a tranquility, such a joyful uh, vibe. And also, I think that's why Madeira is the safest place in all of Portugal. And Portugal is the safest in the world. What more can you ask for? What is the best thing about Madeira? The endless summer. Can I say the weather too? No, you have to say something. Well, you can, but you should say something else. Okay, I will say nature. But there's one thing more. We have our Patreon and we have a video coming up this week about living on Madeira Island versus living on mainland Portugal. But also what to be focused on when making this decision. We are going to be neutral and speak about south mainland, middle and north and also Azores. Thank you for your support. Also, there's a video here, guys. Go watch it. Is there? It, it's an idea I had for, oh, you oh, know, end screen. I get it, I get yeah. it, I get it. Thanks, okay, guys. Bye.